just want to begin by recognizing that there are disparities in how mental health is provided to uh, minority populations. Uh, the disparities exist in many different ways. Um, from the initiation of treatment, we know that people uh, who belong to minority populations are less likely to seek mental health care. Um, it, the particular um, uh, ex, uh, it, uh, disparity is in expenditure when uh, the uh, that just how much it costs. Um, people in minorities often choose more expensive types of mental health care because it, it matches their values, beliefs, and preferences. And so um, because of that, there it's, it's much more difficult for people in minority populations who also uh, may be in lower socioeconomic status to afford um, mental health care. There are things that the mental health profession is doing uh, to try and help bridge these disparities. One is that we're trying to develop better culturally competent counselors and methods of providing mental health treatment that match the values, beliefs, and preferences of the uh, minority populations. We need to work better on accessibility to mental health care for minority uh, peoples. We need to make mental health care more affordable for people in minority populations. Um, there's a lot of hope. We do know that the mental health care that is provided for people in minority populations does work. So I don't want barriers that exist in, uh, in terms of uh, cultural appropriateness of care to keep people from minority populations from seeking mental health care if they need it. Um, because we do know that it works. That's the important thing. But I also want to acknowledge that the mental health profession is making strides in trying to reach out to minority populations, making our care more suitable to their needs. Thank you.